Hey guys, welcome back to Z Code System here on YouTube. Drew coming at you, and today we're going to talk about the Champions League games that are coming up on Tuesday and Wednesday night. That is August the 17th and 18th, and these games are in the Champions League playoff round, which means we are just one step away from the lucrative group stage. So we're going to see six games played over the course of the next two days with six spots up for grabs for these teams to go into the pots of the Champions League to be drawn into the group stage. And as I say, this is the uh, coming up on the lucrative part, and these teams are very uh, are, are desperate to get into the group stage of the tournament uh, and to receive that cash injection that making the competition gives them. All right, guys, uh, you can see there we've got the blog zcodesystem.com backslash blog where you can get the latest picks and blogs that we post on the different sports that we cover. MLB, we covered most recently there on August 15th. And as you can see there, uh, I previewed the NFL pre uh, the NFL season, I should say, uh, last week. And that has a video up here on YouTube. So you can watch that and get up to date on the different picks um, and the different odds that uh, we have going into the NFL season. It's going to be a very good season, and uh, we'll see if the Bucks can repeat as champions. Now, today, when I show you the picks, or I go over the picks with you for the Champions League playoff round, uh, you'll be able to look at the Soccer Buddy app and tool, which is what I use regularly here at Z Code System. And uh, of course, you can go over to Z Code System and sign up so you have the Soccer Buddy tool at your disposal every time you want to make your soccer investment picks, as well as using all the other tools that we have at Z Code System for the different sports that we cover. Like I say, baseball, basketball, NFL, whatever it is that you want to bet on, we will have sports tools up there for you to make wise sports investments. And of course, you can also get the Z Code System Investing Bible. This is volume two. I've been having a look through this lately, uh, catching back up on that. It's been a while since I've read it. Uh, and of course, we have the ebook, I believe, up as well. So you can get that at Z Code System when you sign up. And now, guys, let's take a look at the Soccer Buddy tool to have a look at the games that are coming up tomorrow night and Wednesday night. And I'll give you my picks on these games. Okay, as you can see here, we have the Soccer Buddy tool, and I've already scrolled down there. So our professional sports investing tool, the Soccer Buddy tool, which I love, and this is, uh, that's tonight's games, but we want to look at the 17th, which is Tuesday night. And specifically, we want to look at the Champions League. And like I said, these are the playoff rounds, and I'm going to just click that and bring that back to get the hot trends. We've got three games coming up, and uh, we're going to talk about a few of these games for Tuesday night, and then we'll switch over to the games on Wednesday. Uh, but let's look at that game there first. Shakhtar Donetsk visiting Monaco at the Stade Louis II in France. And this is a game in which we've got two very good teams going going at it. Uh, two teams with no history in the European competition. So this uh, there's no trends to, uh, to, to look at uh, between these two teams as we go into this game. Now, one thing is Monaco go into this game not playing very well in league un uh they are winless in two straight games in the competition but they are putting all of their focus on making the champions league group stage they've done well so far in the qualifying rounds uh, they joined the competition in the third qualifying round uh, and defeated spartak pro excuse me sparta prague 5-1 on aggregate, uh, looking good in those games. Uh, but like I said, they've had a little bit of a drop-off in Lyon, and that is mostly due to the fact that uh, manager Niko Kovac has been uh, swapping and shifting around players, like I say, with a focus for making the Champions League. Shakhtar Donetsk is a very good team. Uh, they play in the Ukrainian Premier League, as we know, but uh, they are a team that surprises a lot of sides in Europe. Last season, they were in the Champions League in the group stage, and they defeated Real Madrid home and away, and that's a Real Madrid team that made the semifinals, uh, which those were shock results and historic wins for Shakhtar Donetsk. Now, I think this is going to be a very close game. I like that 2-1 scoreline there, and I think Monaco, playing at home with some fans behind them, um, they can just edge Shakhtar 
going into uh, Shakhtar at the end of the first leg uh, there in France. Again, recall this is a two-legged series, uh, so we will have to go back to Ukraine for the second leg. Now, keep in mind, UEFA has done away with away goals this season, so those will not count as double. Uh, so once these teams go back to um uh, go back to Ukraine, um, that one goal from Shakhtar Donetsk, uh, if they were able to score a second goal uh, and win that game 1-0, uh, if we were had a, if we had a 2-1 scoreline in that first leg and then they were able to win 1-0 in the second leg, I should say, then that game would go to extra time. So it's not going to count as double and give them an advantage going back home. Okay, so I'm going to pick Monaco to win that game, and I'm going to throw out, if I'm betting on a player to score any time, I'm going Vissim Ben Yedder, uh, of Monaco to get a goal. He hasn't scored yet this season, was their leading goal scorer last term, and I think he'll break his drought shortly. Could be on Tuesday night. Now, uh, let's skip over that Dinamo Zagreb Sheriff Terrace 4 game. You've got the score prediction there. And let's look at that Salzburg Bromby. Um, I love Salzburg to win this game. They are massive favorites at 1.208 uh, against Bromby. And uh, the only thing is, I think that that scoreline could be much bigger. This is a Salzburg team that can score goals for fun. Now, definitely expect over 1.5 goals in this game. Um, but I think that Salzburg could put three or four past Bronby uh, in this game. And I think that they're going to win this. Um, not, not too difficult of a game for Salzburg to win. Uh, they've made the Champions League for the last two seasons. Um, this is a team on the up team that's really improved over the last couple of years, even though they play in Austria in the Austrian Bundesliga, which is a second tier league. Um, they are quite uh, quite a special team to watch uh, with great recruitment and a great a philosophy for football. All right, so I'm backing Salzburg to win, but I do, like I said, like more than that scoreline. I like 3-4-5-1, maybe not 5-1. Let's say maybe three or four goals there from Salzburg, and definitely that hot trend of over 1.5 goals is a good one. Now let's take a look at uh, the next night, the following night, which is the 18th. Wednesday the 18th, we've got three more games and the tie of the round there, PSV Eindhoven taking on Benfica uh, in a very good game. This is a PSV Eindhoven team that is scoring a lot of goals and they are being led right now by winger Nani Maduka, who has scored five goals in six games in all competitions. Uh, he is playing brilliantly. PSV Eindhoven reached the group, uh, excuse me, reached the playoff round by defeating Galatasaray 7-2 on aggregate and then beating Michelin in the third qualifying round 4-0 on aggregate. Uh, Benfica, they entered the tournament at the third qualifying round. Uh, they defeated uh, Russia's Spartak Moscow 4-0 on aggregate, easing to victory in both of those games. Now, keep in mind, uh, in both of those games, Benfica did not score goals until the second half. Halftime result was scoreless, or halftime result, I should say, it was a draw. So um, I actually quite like that scoreline. I, I see we have a first half prediction of 1-0. Um, but, you know, I could see this game being 0-0 or even 1-1 at halftime. Uh, these two teams, this is, like I say, this is going to be a very good game between two very good teams. PSV are scoring a lot of goals uh, in all of their games this season, in all competitions. Uh, Benfica, uh, not so much. Uh, they've, they've not quite hit the levels as PSV in goals. PSV have been very free-flowing and... I, like I say, I like this game. I'm going to watch this game because just out of the entertainment aspect, I think it's going to be a very good game. Um, and despite Benfica being picked here by the soccer buddy tool, I'm going to go against this. And I'm going to say PSV Eindhoven to win or draw in this game. I like what they've done this year so far. I like how they're playing. I like uh, how they're scoring goals. And I think they can definitely pick up a win or draw away in Lisbon against Benfica to set up that second leg at home at the Phillips Stadion. So I'm going PSV win to draw win or draw in this game. Uh, looking at these next two games, Finner and Svirosh and Young Boys, Young Boys, the champions of Switzerland, Finner and Svirosh, the winners of the Hungarian League last season. I think this is going to be a low scoring game under 2.5 goals. And I do like Young Boys to pick up a victory and to set themselves up for a for advancing to the group stage. Uh, Finnish Virash was in the Champions League group stage last season. Uh, it's going to be difficult for a team of this level to reach the Champions League in back-to-back -back years. Uh, Malmo, Sweden's champions, taking on the Ludogorets uh, in this uh, in this playoff round. Malmo knocked off Rangers from from Scotland in the previous round, and um, I really like them to get a win in this game and to move on again. I think over two point five goals, possibly two nil. 
uh, game here. Uh, they are playing very, very well and uh, have a really good striker by the name of Antonio Circo, uh, who was scoring goals for fun in the previous rounds. Um, you know, I like him to maybe pick up a goal in this game. Uh, it's Antonio Circo. Um, I believe uh, he's on loan from uh, um, on loan from Payok from Greece, and uh, he looked very, very good against Rangers in the previous round. So I like him to score a goal and for Malmo to pick up a win and to set themselves up for progression uh, going into that second leg. All right, guys, so those are my picks for the Champions League playoff round coming up on the 17th and 18th. That's Tuesday and Wednesday night. So, guys, thanks for watching. And always just please like the video and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with everything we do here at Z-Code System. And you can get great picks every week uh, on our videos or on the blog. And, uh, of course, we'd love it if you can comment below. Let us know what matches you're getting excited for or what you want us to have a look at coming up in the next video. So, guys, thanks for watching. Remember to sign up to Zico's video for all, excuse me, sign up to Zico's system for all of these great tools. And we will see you next time here on our next video on YouTube. We'll see you later, guys.